Recently, I've been setting myself some photography challenges, basically in the hopes of switching things up with my photography and experimenting with new styles. And last week, or maybe two weeks ago, I did that by going out to the desert and shooting black and white film for the first time in three years. I had so much fun with it and I really like the results so I think it's time to set myself another challenge and today that challenge isn't going to be based on a film stock or any kind of equipment. It's going to be based on where I shoot. Normally I venture pretty far and wide to go look for photos. I'll happily drive four or five hours if it means I'm gonna get an interesting picture. So this week I set myself the challenge of taking pictures without leaving my apartment. That means I'm gonna be photographing throughout my day as I do my daily things around here. I'm gonna share this day of making pictures with you and it starts with some breakfast by making coffee and green juice. The stillness of the hour. Let your mind be free to think of the future and the dreams you hope will be. Let your heart remember too. I want to stand by your side In the hours of rain I'll taste the bitter with the sweet Love you with joy and with pain No matter what we go through I want to walk through this life Let me follow your footprints through the spring and snow. Let me rest in your shadow when the sun is sinking low. From midnight to the morning blue. So yeah, celery juice. This is one of my favorite things to drink. I think the photos of it turned out really successful. I'm very happy with the set of five photos of the juice and I'll tell you why. I think what's really nice about this set is that it shows time passing. And so from the first photo to the fifth last one, you can see the separation of the juice. And you can see that because the shadow 
that's on the left side of the jar in the very first picture is completely gone by the fifth picture and it sort of allows light to pass through it. Also some beautiful textures going on, love the colors. And yeah, I think just the fact that it's in this sequence where you can see the light changing and see time passing is kind of a very beautiful thing. As the day went on, I continued to photograph throughout the midday light and I bought some flowers from Trader Joe's just to kind of have a subject to play with throughout my apartment. I was just walking around with this flower in my hand, holding it in some light, taking photos up close, taking photos far away. And one of my favorite moments of the day was when I held the flower in my hand I looked through my RZ to compose the photo and the flower was actually out of focus and it looked really beautiful in the viewfinder and I snapped the photo. It's focused on these leaves in the background and I think it just made a very gorgeous shape and texture between my hand and the flower in the middle of the frame. As I was walking around my apartment looking for something to shoot, I was laying down on my couch thinking about what I could photograph and then I realized I have never made a self-portrait, which is just something that I feel like all photographers do at some point in their life. So I figured with this beautiful light happening in the apartment, it was my time to give it a shot. I don't think ever in the history of making this YouTube channel I've been as satisfied with pictures that I've made specifically in a video as these. Just so many things felt new, they felt fresh, it was exciting. It was like that excitement that you get when you first start out with photography where you're sort of very happy to just try anything, photograph anything. That's what today was like for me and it was really nice getting that spark, I guess, of inspiration just from seeing a flower being held in some light. I spent a whole day darkroom printing all these photos. That's why they sort of look the way they do. 
They're not as sharp as maybe like a high res film scan because they were printed quite small. But I really love the look of them. I love the colors. I love the transition of light from highlight to shadow with these darkroom prints. And that was definitely just a fun little addition that I think really may have made a small difference, but also is the reason that I'm very happy with these. So thank you for watching. What a fun time. I'll see you next week with another video. Peace.